Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. Families will gather at sundown to light the first candle on the menorah. The eight-day festival will light up the night at the darkest time of the year. During the Hanukkah, Jews celebrate an ancient miracle when a single night's worth of oil lasted eight days. This year, the holiday takes on a special meaning with Israel fighting a war against Hamas and incidents of anti-Semitism on the rise. We asked Rabbi Randy Mark to join us to talk about how this year is different. He is the principal rabbi at Shamrei Torah Congregation in Wayne, New Jersey. Good morning to you, Rabbi. Good morning. So how the, are you? These are difficult days for the Jewish community. What are you hearing from your congregants? I'm hearing a mixture of things. Um, there are some who are nervous about publicly celebrating Hanukkah, not wanting to be targets of anti-Semitism. And there's others who see Hanukkah as an opportunity to show Jewish pride uh, at this time. Hanukkah is a joyous holiday, jo joyous holiday, but will celebrations be more muted and this, this year, given what's happening in Israel? What are your thoughts? I think it depends upon the setting. If you're doing a lighting with children, then you do it like you would any other year because you want it to be like any other year for them. In gatherings where it's just adults, then the conversation changes, but the, the lighting itself remains the same. For those who don't know, can you explain the symbolism of the lighting of the candles on the menorah? Sure. So the concept behind the lighting is to make famous the miracle of Hanukkah, there's actually two miracles, right? One miracle is the victory of the Maccabees against a much larger force, which allowed us to rededicate the temple in Jerusalem, which had become a pagan shrine. And Hanukkah itself means dedication because we rededicated the temple. Um, it also celebrates the miracle of the oil as, as you described in your opening. And so people will gather in their homes and in synagogues and in public squares to light the menorah and each night of the eight nights we add an additional candle so on the first night we light one candle and on by the eighth night we're lighting all eight why is it so important this year for the community to be gathering together i think it's important to gather together especially this year first of all to show that the jewish community stands united um, we're standing together with others who are living with the fears of anti-Semitism, and we're standing united with Israel while they uh, fight for their survival. And how can people support the Jewish community at this time? Well, there's actually a lot of ways you can support the Jewish community. Um, one of the things that I'm wearing is a blue ribbon for hostages. I'm also wearing a blue pin, which is against anti-Semitism. And the whole idea is not just to have the Jewish community do it, but to have the general community do it. Every time someone from outside the Jewish community stands in solidarity with us, it gives us, it gives us strength and it gives us hope. And Hanukkah is all about a time of bringing light into darkness and bringing hope uh, when things seem dim. Rabbi Mark from Shamrei Torah Congregation in Wayne, New Jersey, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. And a happy Hanukkah. Thank you.